Hello there now. My name's Andrew, and I work here at IELTSpodcast.com with Ben and the others. Thank you for submitting this, your trial essay correction. What we like to do with these single corrections is give you as much advice, support, and guidance as we can to improve your writing in maybe a 10-minute video. If you want to improve your writing to a considerable degree, it takes repeated corrections over time. Only this way can you improve your writing essentially to stop making your own mistakes. Developing the skills of a proofreader by constantly correcting your own work according to somebody else's guidance helps you to take on the IELTS exam with much more confidence than you would be able to otherwise. Now I can already tell that you have structured your essay well. I can see an intro, a conclusion and two body paragraphs which is really what I would expect to see from this essay. What we need to try to make sure of with these essays is that we speak truthfully and we don't give any... that we don't rely too much on opinion. In each body paragraph we're expected to give our thoughts but we're also expected to justify those thoughts with an example. But first let's have a look at your intro and see what we can do. So it is often believed that global marketing conquers every country in the world. So this here would be an example of overstatement. Conquering is a very violent word and its meaning is it includes things like subjugation and it's just too much. And it certainly isn't every country. So what I would say is that while global marketing has a considerable presence around the world. Many believe that it is invasive and intrusive into the countries in question. In my opinion, international marketing has a great impact or a significant impact on one's marketable skills. And then I would include this. has a significant impact on one's marketable skills by spreading languages, culture and ideas around the globe. Many business owners could improve their commercial operations okay, by learning about or by studying the established methods of other merchants. The established methods of other merchants that's really good. I've never seen anyone use that phrase before, but you're absolutely correct. Anyone could improve their operations by studying the established methods of others. Great. So you've discussed the topic, you've given your opinion, and you've given a little bit more as well, which is fine. I would suggest, though, making your intro sentence a little more general we want to open up the area that we're discussing. So remove these strong, this strong statement here and more generally consider the topic that you are about to write about. So here as well, I, I, like, I like primarily. Firstly, it's fine, but I like primarily. But it's up to you. Globalization has made the world as one land. Well, this is this is the goal of globalization. This is what globalization aims to do, or it's sort of the inevitable result of globalization, but it's not happened yet. You're speaking about a hundred years in the future. We need to make sure that we speak about now and we, that we represent the world accurately. So globalization is resulting in increased travel uh, or increased movement of people and spread of culture. Through this, many traders have the opportunity to learn and acquire new knowledge, so these mean the same thing. To learn and to acquire new knowledge are the same thing, so let's not repeat ourselves. Many traders are presented with the opportunity to acquire new knowledge from other merchants. For example, understanding um, Oh, I would say that this could just be a such as. So, many traders have the opportunity to learn 
new skills or knowledge from other merchants such as financial planning interpersonal skills and let's say uh, methods of marketing anything you want list a few things but just as a such as on the end of this sentence the economy of each country will not grow unless every businessman is capable of assimilating and sharing all the commercial skills again this is a very strong statement the economy of each country will not grow so will absolutely do nothing unless every businessman so all of them every single one knows basically everything now we know that's not true because nobody knows everything and the world still works everything's still happening I would say a nation's economy may stagnate if its business people do not acquire new knowledge or if its business people do not have access to new methods in 2000 an article in a French newspaper called Le Journal said that if global trading had been addressed well before now the world economy would have been improved what does this mean though global trading had been addressed in what way by who with what methods the world economy would have been improved by what measure by how much so when we give when we give data or referencing we must include the result so if we're going to say um, this happened and growth occurred we can't just say growth occurred we have to say this much growth occurred over this much time because of this so we have to make sure that we give a really really detailed example that everything is visible and also one paragraph should express a single idea and it should introduce the topic expand into the idea support it with an example so you're justifying your own thoughts and then summarizing it at the end with a thus or therefore so a general topic sentence a more detailed sentence containing your point a bit of explanation and then an example to justify and support and then at the then the full explanation at the end and that's an academic paragraph to introduce to expand to justify and to explain secondly although international trading is invading the world again very strong statement it also has enormous benefits um, for many areas of life because it certainly doesn't benefit every area try not to speak in absolutes because nothing is absolute for instance learning a new language such as English French or Arabic and this comma here um, before such as you don't need a comma so learning a new language such as English French or Arabic <laughs> okay so I'd say for instance it motivates people to learn new languages you want to talk about what 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 is the benefit of international trading so the the benefit is that it motivates people to learn a new language motivates people to learn a new language such as English French or Arabic additionally people who trade internationally will necessarily learn about various traditions ceremonies and festivals this leads to both the acquisition of large quantities of knowledge so I would talk about the acquisition of knowledge and therefore the improvement of business practices that things will get better because people learn new things when people know better ways to do stuff it gets done better surprisingly also um, a great idea and I support the idea entirely but this is not going to be achieved simply through international marketing and so again this is a strong statement in conclusion although international trading is conquering the world once again not quite it has contributed to the economy and commercial operations in terms of learning new languages and gaining new ideas and knowledge in commerce great but it's just these aggressive, strong statements about things 
conquering the world that are not conquering the world. For instance, it may seem as if Starbucks are conquering the world, or as if McDonald's are conquering the world, but in actual fact, they're just opening shops in different places. There's no conquering happening at all. Your writing is actually good. You structure your essay well, and you use a good range of vocabulary. What you need is some guidance on speaking more academically. Um, and toning down your language to be more sensible. But if you would like to continue receiving corrections in this manner, where I sit here and point out all of your mistakes, you can subscribe to our course, the link to which is in the email I have sent you. I do hope to be seeing some more of your work come through soon. But until then, my good friend, have a lovely evening, and I will speak to you again soon. Bye-bye now.